Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Link on the left and Stebig on the right. This is the XTC. We've got South Africa versus Iceland. Rebels versus Rebels, but very different lists. In fact, no overlapping pilots. Dash and Luke versus Bendik, Kyle, Hera, and Garvin, the old Heratani. Luke going to stay nice and close to that left board edge. Turns and barrel rolls. Looks like Hera and the gang going to go down the bottom of the board edge. We've got two focuses already on Kyle, thanks to the generosity of Benny Two Tubes. Got the arc on dash facing left and right. So he's all set up for some strafing. Let's see what flavor of dash. Lone Wolf Kanan, Outrider title. Luke with Proton Torps and Afterburners. All right. It's a man of confidence. Let's take a second to appreciate the alt arts. Nice dash alt. I like this Outrider. I mean, it's kind of big and unwieldy, but it's cool. A little Luke. Everybody's got something set. Link's ready. Please tell me Link does not like playing X-Wing because that is what they will have to be doing. Yeah, I mean, you bring this list if you want to take a nice leisurely stroll around the galaxy. Circle the bowl with dash. See if you can pick something off. There's the one straight from Benny. Perceptive co-pilot. Hands of focus off to Garvin. Kyle with the one straight. He should have three focuses at this point, right? Yeah. Quite the stack. One straight from Garvin. Stay nice and far back just in case Luke turns in. Of course, Luke... Luke's going to run, right? He could turn in and get a range three proton torpedo. The next turn after that might be problematic, especially with Dash over here doing one forward, not committing. Yeah, Luke turns away. Two bank and a boost. Foils are closed. Hera turns in, takes a focus. Kyle spreads out his tokens. As a flex. Let's see how many we can get on him. All right. On to the next one. This will be the first XTC game on this channel. Looks like we're going to have a nice leisurely opening. Nobody rushing into an engagement. It's the perfect time to get some coffee. Oh, no. This is it. This is the end. I'm 
much time left in the match. Nice. Got to get one in while we can. But yeah, this is a good play from Link. You draw them through the obstacles. See how well they can maintain their formation. It does matter. Uh, we do have range-based abilities. So we can start to split them up. We can start to pick them apart. turn off some of those abilities copper blue with five gifted subs thank you very much very generous we do have donation goals over here on the left side of the screen 100 being our first actually move that real quick. our first is at 25 oh we're at 29 so we've already got one giveaway later today It'll be that hexile sticker pack Thank you very much, everybody who's donated subs so far. Why did I put an S at the end of that? All right, everybody's got something dialed in. No, nope, rethinking Garvin and Hera. Do you want to bake towards Luke? Do you want a hard turn and go through the debris clouds? This is where things can get complex, right? Because you want to move Benthic first. He's a medium base. You've got two different base sizes and three different initiatives. Four different initiatives. Two, three, four, and six. Oof. This is a very powerful rebel list on the right, but it it doesn't fly itself. Did bets close? I'll reopen them. No, they're open. I need to check your... Uh credits all right Stevig's ready One straight from Benthic, two straight from Kyle. Grabs himself another focus. Garvin, four straight, and a roll in front of Benthic. Huh. That means if you want Benny's ability next turn, you're going to have to move him. F well, he moves first. You're going to have to do a hard turn or something fast. You're going to start playing Leapfrog. That could be tough. Dash Rindar. One bank. Going for that big base barrel roll. It is red on the YT2400, so it'll take a stress. But without Rider. After you fully execute a maneuver, if you move through or overlapped an obstacle, you may remove one red or orange token. That includes target locks or the stress, so he may just... Go over that rock next turn. Get rid of the stress. Luke continues to kite. And that's what he's got to do. He cannot face that head on. All right. 
Under 64 now. How are the bets doing? Who is favored? Stebic. Yeah, I mean, look, people know this Rebel list. They know it's powerful. They know it's one event. Dash is definitely powerful, but less tried and true. 16 to 34. Wow. 68% on Iceland. Bets. Jeez. All right, Dash and Luke are set. Garvin, the first to be dialed in. But yeah, this is where things get complicated. Because Benthic's got to move first. You probably want a two-turn. Does that get you in the lane between the rock and the debris? Except for Garvin now. Garvin was the first to be set. We're not reading into this too much. Oh boy. Coffee's gone. Now things get difficult. Ready to go. So is Link. Let's go. Benthic, I2 first. It's Benny. Then Kyle. Then Garvin, then Hera. Goes for the stop on Benthic. Okay. Rotate to the right. Ah, I used Leia this turn. Okay. Reduces the difficulty of these red maneuvers. Double focus. Hands went off to Garvin. Two hard turn from Kyle. All right. I think this is good for Link. Four K from Garvin. Ozgul says, formation crumbling. Exactly, right? If you can force your opponent by waiting for the engagement to do things like this, to put your higher initiative ships in front of your lower initiative ships, you make them more predictable, right? Either Benthic bumps, or he does something other than a one or two forward, or a one bank right, right? You're, you're eliminating possible maneuvers next turn by being in a position like this. And this happens the longer you let your opponent move and try to turn around. Dash goes over the rock, relieves the stress with Outrider title. Why use Leia? You don't need the actions. Maybe just to not be stressed. Opens your dial up a little bit. Would you prefer to have it later? Maybe. Ooh, dash rolls in. Now he could get caught. 
Let's see, he could hard turn left next turn, but we'll see. He could get caught in this bottom right corner if he's not careful. Hera. Two straight. Takes a focus token. She can, of course, turn that into an evade. Thanks to the miracle of Jin or so. All right, Dash starting us off. We got an engagement. Are the bets closed? Yes, they are. Four V three. Four dice, one hit. Oh boy. Not a great shot for Dash. One hit, one evade. All right. Garvin, no shot, so we'll move on to Kyle. Has the range three front primary of Moldy Crow, 3v3. Still got a force point on dash, but that's the only defensive mod. Woo! Three hits. Oh, takes two on dash. Uh, uses Lone Wolf. Can't get the evade. Showed some aggression with that barrel roll, but it did not pay off. And now's when things get tricky for Dash. Stebic should be able to anticipate either a straight over the rock, and you want to get far enough over the rock that you can actually shoot, right? You don't want to land on it, you want to go over it. That removes the stress. That's very much catchable by Stebig. The other option is to hard turn. You probably clip the rock, get rid of the stress. Let's take a look at that. Nope. Come back. There we go. So if you're looking... That's a very generous turn. You probably would be able to clip it, but then you're not shooting anything. You could rotate your turret. There's no stress on Kyle, so he can do whatever bank he wants. But moving in here seems ideal. Bendik does have to move first, which is where things get complicated, especially with Hera here. I don't know that you can get it too hard through. You could stop again, you're not stressed, but you won't be handing out any focus if that's a goal. Link very fast on his dials. Fifty four minutes left, zero to zero so far. We are getting into that engagement. Will Luke be able to help out? 
think he's too far away. Too hard in a boost. Depends on how fast Kyle goes. All right. Looks like both players ready to go. Benny two tubes opens up those wings. Three bank to the right. Never doubted him. Double focus. Hands one off to Hera, who might be K-turning, actually. Could you fit a sloop left? Ooh, a stop from Kyle. You may have actually just been able to bump Benthic, but... Puts you at weird angles, maybe. Garvin, four straight. I think his foils are closed. Hmm. I wonder if he knows that. I'm going for a target lock. Doesn't seem like what you'd want to do with your foils closed. There is, There can be issues on TTS with foils giving the wrong image. One straight from Dash. Hmm. A roll left. Yeah. There's that roll. Too hard in from Luke. His foils are closed. Enabling this boost. Nope. 5k from Hera, so she's not going to be helping out. Um, helping out with the shooting, right? And it looks like she's out of range 2 for Benthic, so that's one ship that she can't pass that token to. Probably wants to give it to Garvin anyway. Range 3 from Dash on Benthic. A lot of people not liking Dash's chances next turn. Let's get through this one. Two hits and a focus. Spins a force point. the reroll from Lone Wolf. Three hits. Cat Farms, thank you for the 19 months. Two evades takes one on Benthic. Is that? That is the first damage so far. On Stebig. I like your chances. Thank you. I appreciate that vote of confidence. Nothing for Kyle. Two tubes, range three snipe, 3v3. Has a focus, all mods spent. Oh, on dash, hit, crit, crit. One evade, takes two shields down on dash, Rindar. Yeah, dash... Dash had two turns to do as much damage as possible. He did one shield. He took four. I don't know that Luke is going to be able to come in here and clean up, but we'll see. Now, Benny Two Tubes does not have access to Leia yet. She's at two charges, I believe.
Lone Wolf already spent it spent it on the attack and the force point. But two tubes looks like he's gonna have to come across that debris cloud. Could be past a token from Kyle or anybody. So maybe you take that chance. Got a Proton Torpedo Luke coming into the fight this turn. 48 minutes left. Still no points, but lots of damage on Dash. He's got to be very uncomfortable. Lou, that is the chance you take. Do you wait for more information, or do you ensure you get in before the cutoff? Would you be able to complete a two hard left with Bendigo? I don't think you would do it, but if you could complete, would you turn to towards Luke? Nah, you're gonna put everything in on dash, right? Just drive over the debris, let Kyle pass you something. Garvin could get sniped there from Luke. Garvin may stick with a one forward to stay behind that debris. May cost him a shot and a dash, depending on what dash does. Could Dash do something tricky like one bank away? I mean, you wouldn't be able to stay on the board, right? So now it's a question of how fast do you move. Let's look at the blues for Dash. Not a lot. I don't think there's any benefit to like three banking. So now it's like a one forward and pray. All right, who's the last to get set? Hera, still being worked on. I kind of thought Hera was going to move fast, go into the corner. If Dash survives this turn, you would be able to cause him some issues. He has Kanan. You're right. He could one hard turn. Is that white? On a white team, yeah. You could one hard turn... Spend the force point to get rid of the stress. Definitely a possibility.
All right. Both ready to go. Stop from Benny. Okay. Huh. Bump from Kyle. Foils open up on Garvin. He's moving into that lane. He is really opening himself up to a torpedo from Luke. And doesn't matter how many tokens you have, if it's a 4v2, you're probably taking damage. Let's see if Dash can help double up on that. There's the one hard turn. Gonna spin the force to get rid of the stress. There you go. Now the question is, do you rotate your turret? Or do you try and barrel roll? Right now you've got a 1v1. I think you rotate. No, he's gonna barrel. Oh. Yep, barrel rolling. He gets himself behind the rock for Garvin. And if he wasn't already far enough away from Benthic, he will be now. I think this is a big break for Dash. Luke will be getting that torpedo. The question is, who do you want it? Uh, Jagged, it's in the general section. I'll post it again. I guess we did have a lot of discussion this morning. So the lock went into Benthic. Hmm. I wonder if that's... When I think about the weak links in... Ah, Link, that's a good joke. Um, in this Heratani style list, it's usually Kyle or Garvin. They've got two greens. If you can just roll more than that, you can probably do damage. Now, you're not getting more than two greens on Benthic, but there's more health. So the likelihood that you get to points is better v. Garvin. There's only five hit points on Kyle, and if you can get him off the board, this list is... It's a lot tougher for this list, but I think their Garvin was probably the better shot. Was it not an arc? It was. I don't know. We'll see. He really likes, really doesn't like Benthic. Got an unobstructed shot. What did Luke do? Did a bank right. I like that. Luke didn't go straight towards the enemy and really commit himself to going in front of them next turn. He still gets a shot, but he can bug out if he wants. Two blanks. Focus and a hit. Spins a force point. Hit it, crit. So you'll get one through on Benthic. Double blanks. You can pass the focus with Hera, turn it into an evade with Jin. Hit crit. Shields down on the U Wing.
focus from Garvin into dash, two hits, two evades. Kyle. Obstructed shot, range three into Luke. So you want to... Ooh, going to spin the Hera focus. Or pass the Hera focus. May, he may even just hold on to it. Yep. Using that attack to recharge Moldy Crow. Spins a force point there. You need to. Whatever, you're getting it back. Bendic two tubes. Too far away. All right. And what looked like it was going to be an awful turn for Dash ends up being a really good kite. Really forces Stebig to commit to the right side. Opened up a lane for Luke. Now that's not enough for half points. So you can't just run away with Luke and Dash for 37 minutes. But you've started the process. Three shields down on Benthic, one away from half. Probably see another hard turn from Dash. I would imagine he goes wider this turn, but maybe not. Maybe a one hard. Spin the Force. Yeah, maybe you want to stay closer. Because I don't think Benthic's doing a... He can't do a three bank left. There's a rock there. Leia is charged up. In theory, you could proc Leia, stop, rotate, Benthic to try and go after Luke. But I like this play so far from Link. It looked really rough for Dash there. I mean, he did lose four shields. That's, that is a big deal. But now it's looking like his kiting may have paid off. Not a lot of great options for Stebig, especially with Benthic moving first, then Kyle, then Garvin, then Hera. Kyle's in front, or uh, Garvin's in front of Benthic. Just gets more complicated. What do you do with Luke? Are you just going to one forward and see if anybody hangs out in arc? Here is the last to get dialed in on the right side. Garvin feels like he's in a place where he, he really needs to commit to dash. I mean, he can go left over the rock, maybe a talon roll, but that makes him really vulnerable to a dash shot. You could three bank over the rock, maybe? I'm not even sure that gets you all the way. I'm not sure that clears it. Oof.
All right, we've got something for all rebels. Just double check in there. This list is very powerful, but with this many initiatives, with this many base sizes, different dials for every single ship, it's a lot of planning. Could you just two forward Hera and then... Oh, this isn't... You don't have auto thrusters. You have vector thrusters. You can't focus roll. All right, ready to go. Tabby with the latest bet of all time. Welcome. Ah, okay, he does stop. So he's going to turn towards Luke. That may help him untangle things next turn. Nope. Because now Kyle's in front of him. Now Kyle's facing a debris. Kyle goes for a lock. Uh, does a Talon roll to the right, which should be good. Dash should be going the other direction. Oh, he did use Leia. That's right. So he gets the focus. Dash. Plays it safe with a two hard. He could roll left and backwards. Maybe catch a piece of Garvin. Stress. Hasn't been hurting too much, thanks to Kanan. Yep. Goes for the roll. Does that get him arc? He did go backwards. Yeah, I think he's got it. She's going to have Lone Wolf. But you're pretty safe there. Closes the foils on Luke, so he's going to try and run. Three bank. Should be able to boost left. Won't get any shots. Will that be in Benthic's arc? I think so. You'll be safe from Kyle. Safe from Garvin. There's nothing Hera can do. Does Kyle have arc on Benthic? Because that will dictate whether you can pass the token. Maybe. There's the boost left. You've got force points. You probably don't need to link. You've got the same amount of force points as you do green dice. I think that's range two. Decides not to link it. There's the two bank from Hera. 
Should be able to offer up a token to Benthic. Yeah. Yep. And that barrel roll does get Dash a shot. Has Lone Wolf. 4v3. Garvin with a focus. Hit crit. Lone Wolf that blank. Nada. You need two blanks in here. Well, Hera can just pass that. Yep, checking Jen or so. Got to be in range 0 to 3 for Jen. 1 to 2 for Hera. Nothing out the front for Kyle. It is range 2 to Luke. It's a good thing he did not spend his focus. Two of eights. Luke's fine. All right. 26 minutes left. Zero to zero. You're so close on dash. So close on benthic. So if, if Luke does the too hard left, is there anything to punish? I mean, maybe Benthic. Hera wouldn't be around. Garvin! Oh man, Kyle's going over that debris. Garvin may be going over this debris. Rob, welcome. See, normally going over obstacles and losing your action doesn't matter too much if Kyle can pass you a token. But his arc is right. So he can't turn left and rotate his turret towards his friends. He could go right. And depending on how fast Garvin goes, you could pass something there. Is there any reason to rush after Dash? 
to try and go fast with Kyle. It feels like you really need to turn towards Luke. To bank with Benthic and coordinate. Can you complete that? Maybe. feels like Garvin needs to come over the debris. You could hard turn Kyle and pass the focus out your arc. And then just too hard, have no tokens on Benthic. All right, both players ready to go. Let's see what they came up with. Too hard with Benthic. Okay. Foils open. Wings open. Oh boy, did Kyle take one from the debris? He did! Oh my god! It's one on the shield, but it's... It's more of an insult than an injury. Ooh, one bank from Dash catches the corner of the rock, which normally wouldn't matter, but... It does force you to barrel roll where you might otherwise have stayed. Maybe you get a shot, Nikhil. Opens up those foils and Talon rolls! Okay! All aggression here. Gets all up in Benthic's face. Now, if we're looking at where you might get a token, if Garvin's not attacking or defensing, or defensing, defending, you're not getting a token from that. Kyle doesn't have you an arc. Hair is too far away. Yep. You're outside of that range two bubble. Range three from Dash. There's a 4v3. It is not obstructed. That blue line shows you there is no obstruction. Otherwise, it would be yellow. Oh, wow. Oh, natties from Dash. You're getting a crit on the shield. You can check to see if Hera's in range, but she ain't. Crit goes through. It is a disabled power regulator. Will be ionized this turn. And there we go. Points on the board. Early lead. Or er, early. First blood goes to Link. Kyle. Luke. Luke range one. On Benthic. Oh no, doing the torp on Kyle. Spends both force points. Three hits and a crit. You get the obstruction, so three dice. Kyle. 
Right now, it's taking hit crit and dying. Um, I'm pretty sure Hera's out of range. Yeah, looks like that is the case. Kyle Katarn is dead. And if the betting is to be believed, this is looking like an upset. Most players saw that Haratani list on the right and voted for it, but right now we've got a lead for Link. Let's see if Benthic can put something big through on Luke. 4v2. This could hurt. We'll have one force point available on Luke. Four dice, one eyeball. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, didn't mean to have the double take, but... All right. Under 17 left in the match, 49 to 0. Luke unscathed. <laughs> We've got a request from the chat, yes. For the uh the terrible shot from Benthic. trumpet or is it a horn well on my picture which you will not be able to see it is a trombone just go through all the brass you're you'll find it Benthic? We're at two charges on Leia. You're stressed on Benthic. You can't stop. Nor will you stop. The question is... I, I, I kind of think you bump into Luke. And hope that Luke did something slow. You can stop him. Maybe get Garvin and Hera up there to try and push the last damage through. You need to get half on dash. So, getting that one... Let, let's simulate it. Yeah, so getting the one damage on... Oh, boy. What was that? Brendan with the Patreon. Thank you very much. That sound. Whew. Benny. Banks through Luke. Double focuses. Maybe that's fine. Three bank from Garvin. Takes the focus. Oh, without Kyle, now there's no more Jin. There's no more evade passing. There's no more turning focuses into evades while you're passing them. So while I think some of this was target of opportunity, getting rid of Kyle first is more doable than most and actually turns off a lot of the abilities here. Thank you, Corey. Catherine, welcome. It is that time of day. Like clockwork. Luke moves up. Takes a lock on Garvin. Now, we are out of torpedoes, right? Yes. 
Man, remember Afterburners? I guess we've used it once. I think frequently in Heritani, Kyle's the best target. Yeah. I think that if somebody asked me what do I shoot first in that list, I would say Kyle. Or Garvin, depending on who's out front. But if you have your choice, go for Kyle. All right. We got two things facing Dash. So it could happen. You could get that damage on Dash Rendar, get your 58 points, and be in the lead. Two dice, one hit. Dash, one evade. Here's the dash shot. Four dice with a focus and lone wolf. Spins the focus, or spins the force point, keeps lone wolf. Is that what you want? I guess he wants it for defense. He knows that giving up half points would be big. So hit it crit into three dice. Hit crit goes through. Shields on Garvin puts him one away from half. Oh, that could that means this shot from Luke is a big deal. Hera thinking about handing off that focus? You don't need to yet. Because you can't turn it into an evade. Luke. That's right, no more torps. I already said that. Uh, it was hit in an eyeball, so he'll convert the eyeball into a hit with the force point. Spins the lock. Hit it, crit. Garvin. Four dice, range three obstructed. Two natural evades, takes the crit, and that's half points. What, what if you get a weapons failure? Oh, boy. It's a weapons failure. Two dice from Garvin. One hit. One of the dice got deleted. One hit, one evade. Under 10 left in this match. It is now a 72-point game, which means getting one more damage on dash is not enough. It's a good start. He's got six hull. If you can get some concentrated fire with Benthic, with Garvin, with Hera, maybe. Ever play on Hexiled? I'm banning Scott from commentating. The streamer curse is real here. Yeah. All right. We'll make fun walk cast your game. Closes the wings on the U wing. Does a sit and a spin.
That was Leia, right? Yeah. Did he hand the focus off? Did he target lock Luke? Oh, yeah. Okay. Afterburner boost. So we are out of afterburner charges. Goes for a lock on Garvin. Boy, we really should have labeled those T65 so we could tell them apart, huh? Oh well. Dash, three bank onto the debris. Could just take a big shot into Garvin. Spit roast him between Dash and Luke. Rolls away. Wants more distance from Hera. Three bank for Hera, so not able to give anybody any tokens. That evade could have been life saving. Ah, uh, they're labeled by force and target locks. Good point. You guys are observant viewers. Oh boy. Was it a hit in an eyeball? Was it two? I guess not. Oh, that was... That was Luke's shot. Okay. Dash. We got two four-dice shots. Here's Dash's... How hard does he go? Garvin's on two... Does Garvin still have a weapons failure? Yes. Oof. One hit. Does he live on one and shoot with a mod? Takes the one on Garvin. Oh. Slowly catching up. The first shot was Hera. Didn't do anything. Second shot was Dash. Now it's Luke. Luke is ranged two on Garvin with a target lock. Two evades. Takes one. That is a dead Garvin at I-5. Right? No. No. Garvin's on one. Boy, I'm bad at math. Garvin, two dice, all blanks. Oops, all blanks. Not able to push anything through on... Uh, on dash that turn. Yeah, Garvin's at one. Yeah, he came in with one crit. Took one from dash. Took one from Luke. My bad. One crit. Plenty of evades on Luke Skywalker. And back to dials. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. Zero to 72. It's been all Link this game. Now, you're 72 points behind. Can you put everything on Dash and get 116 points? It's possible.
one bank. Oh, I mean, you could you could do any white maneuver and use use Kanan. You couldn't fit a one forward, could you? That'd be kind of cool. You know, one bank. Benthic. Does a three bank left fit you? I want to say medium base always fits. I'm not absolutely sure. You've got a lock on Luke, so you could just four forward. Half on Luke only gets you 40, though. What's Benthic got? Five? Okay. You haven't gotten half on Benthic, but I think you want to initiative kill Garvin. Take 10. Medium base always fits. No exceptions. All right. I'll take your word for it. A one hard and a potential arc dodge? Is that... Well, I almost said, is that safe from the debris? Ha <laughs> ha, I caught it. Opens up those wings for Benthic. Does he go after Luke or try to go after... Who's the two straight? Okay. Double focus. You've already got a lock on Luke. I wonder if he could have gotten far enough to give a coordinate. Oh, well. All right, that's time in the round. This is it. Ain't no Jenner, so. Yeah. Double focus. To Hanson Cake 10 with a gifted sub. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, don't let me forget we do have a giveaway today. So we reached our first 25 subs. Got a Hexiled sticker pack. After this match, we'll look at how close we are to the second giveaway, which is Drainus Art Omicron Group Pilot. Dash moves up, takes a lock. Maybe a little bit of an overcommittal from Garvin. Here's the lock from Luke. They are looking to put Garvin out of his misery. Two bank left. Bump from Hera. Just can't keep those two apart. Hera shouldn't have a shot. Nope. Dash. Luke. Gonna start us off. Range one into Garvin. 4v2. Luke's got a target lock and two force points. Garvin's got a focus. You need three results. Yeah. Spend your two force points. Well. Maybe re-roll one of them. Because you'd like to keep both force points for the shot from Benthic.
He's gonna reroll too. Okay. Yeah. Spins both. Guarantees that the crit goes through. That does kill Garvin. It makes Luke a little more vulnerable, but you shouldn't... Uh, you're leading by 95 points, half of Luke's 40. So we'll see Dash Rendar shooting into Hera. Range 2. Oh man. Lone Wolf and the Force Point. Triple natural evades, but still takes one on Hera. Not enough for half, but it will wound the pride. Benthic. If you killed Luke, you'd get 79 points. It still wouldn't be enough. Double crits into Luke. Double natural evades. And that, that will do it. GG, congratulations to Link. Fantastic flying against a very dominant list. He played very patiently. He bided his time. It looked real scary there for Dash, but uh, turns out Kanan being able to relieve that stress. Clutch forced Stebig to... Commit to the right side, go after Dash. Dash did some great kiting. And then Dash and Luke able to pick these off one by one. Wins 95 to 0. Congratulations to him. Thank you to Stevic for playing. Didn't end up scoring any points, but still in, in some really tough situations with multiple initiatives and ships. And we, we talked about it, but was able for the most part to still get his actions, still line up shots. Uh, even if it didn't work out for him. So, thank you to both players. Thanks to everybody for watching. That'll do it for this match. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming, signing off.